Hey besties, so since it is spooky season, it's October, it's Halloween's month, the month of all scary things and the best month of the year and best time of year. Um, I decided that, I know I said in one video, one of my moving vlogs that, um, that I might do like for Halloween and spooky season month of October um but that I might like talk about my ghost experiences because I've had some and they are gnarly like <sighs> like I've had really ghost experience I don't understand people who say they don't believe in ghosts or they don't believe in aliens and any of that other stuff like literally how could you not I'm confused how could you not like there's no possible way you think we are the only living beings like of course there's something out there on all those other planets out there in the universe like it's crazy of course there's some type of like once once you die like <sighs> spirits go like your soul goes somewhere or maybe it doesn't but i believe it does i don't know um also, I'm a big scary movie fan, so I just believe in ghosts and uh, demons and all that stuff. Like, <laughs> and plus, I experienced this shit. Like, this isn't like made up. Like, I'm not Tana Mojo. Like, I'm not just finna like just make up shit for a story time for clicks and views. Like, I've actually experienced this stuff. So let's just get into it. I think I've always seen, not seen ghosts, but I think I've always thought I saw something out of, out of the corner of my eye even now I will like see a figure and then I look again and it's like nothing there I don't know I just feel like they're around us all the time some of them are really chill and don't like bother you um other ones are mean <laughs> and just like just want to mess with you and stuff which is like I don't like to deal with ghosts. I don't. I don't like to deal with them. They. I like for them to stay over there. I stay over here. Um, but sometimes they do get a little bold. And so these are my ghost experiences. Didn't even do my freaking intro, or did I? I can't remember. But hey, besties. Um, welcome to your new happy place. My name is Rico. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, I usually do that at the end, but all my social medias will be at the end and down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to of course you don't have to you never forget to do anything you don't want to do here so go ahead and get that out the way so let's get into this ghost experience story time so um okay we're gonna start when i was living um in mobile i can't remember too much as a child uh but i know living in mobile in our first house which you guys didn't see because i started youtube when we moved to our second house in mobile um when we was living in mobile we lived in an apartment and then two houses i mean a townhouse and then two houses um and i live in georgia now if you guys as you guys know um if you're watching my moving vlogs or if you already watched them because this is coming out after okay i'm rambling so yeah so this is in mobile alabama in our first house um this is this is gonna sound crazy i'm gonna sound insane but i promise you it's true and i'm not crazy like these were ghosts um so it was in the morning i woke up and um of course i went to the bathroom and i heard voices i heard a woman talking and then i kind of heard like a man talking back to her i heard voices and i was like what is that and i kept hearing that i kept stopping y'all know how black people do i know you see how tiktok now how black people react to like when they hear stuff you just completely just stop and you listen and every time i did that it stopped when i i was doing like my hair or makeup or something and or i was just i, was, I don't know i was just in the bathroom doing something and every time i would continue doing what i was doing i would hear them talking again i stopped i even i would even like open the door look at the door i walked in the living room to see there was no one in there i went into my mom's room and i was like mom mom it's like i she was sleeping i woke her up and i was like is that you talking she was like no i just woke up and i'm just like um it's people in the house like i'm hearing people talk like having full 
conversations talking and she was just like girl shut up anytime i say anything about a ghost it's always like people literally tell me to shut up like my family like they're just like girl and i'm just like no it's ghosts like but they believe me now though because we've all experienced it now they believe me now about these ghosts and um and i don't i just heard i just kept hearing a man and like a woman talking it was kind of muffled it wasn't like super clear but i was hearing it and it was coming from the living room and i go check the living room and it was nothing there i'm just like i'm hearing people talk like people are talking they're having a conversation but it's no one in here and i was just like it's just the ghost like they're just having their i'm thinking it was a husband or wife they're having their little morning conversation in the living room which that's fine i don't want to mess with them like continue having your conversation just stop making me feel crazy um so yeah that was like the first ghost experience that i remember um and then it was it was another ghost experience in that same house it was me my sister um and my girlfriend or it was me, my girlfriend, and my old best friend. It was another person. It was me and my girlfriend for sure. I can't remember if it was my sister or my old best friend. But we were all just in the kitchen. The laundry room is right next to the kitchen. We were sitting at the table, which is laundry room doors open. Like it's it's okay, kitchen. Inside the kitchen, it's the kitchen table, it's the laundry room just right there, and the door was open. I know that was a terrible like description, but I want like I wanna emphasize how close the kitchen table is close by the dryer so the laundry room door was open we it was my oldest friend i remember now um it was my sister but the laundry room door um was open um and she my oldest friend was like drying she came over to my house to wash and dry her clothes which is like fine duh that's what friends do and um it's a piece of hair on me it's bothering me and so um we're all just talking and you know everything's normal we're like snacking on stuff and just like waiting for her clothes to dry whatever just chilling and then all of a sudden like all of a sudden and we saw it all three of us saw it it wasn't just me all three of us saw it the dryer it was just going and then it just like opened and slammed like shut like open and then slammed back shut and we all looked at each other was like what the fuck like that was so crazy like it it was just like and it happened so quick too and i was like what and then the dryer stopped we had to go like restart it it was just insane it happened so quick it was loud and all three of us saw it and it wasn't just me being crazy like all three of us saw that so yeah that's the second ghost experience <laughs> that happened um also my dogs um especially my dog precious rest their soul r.i.p miss you love you april and precious they will bark at nothing and you know dogs always sense it first in the scary movies who who always senses it first and who's always the first to go the animals and so our dogs will always just bark especially precious she always just bark at nothing people be like oh she's just getting old she just hearing stuff no she knew she knew it was something else in that house especially when we moved to our next house the house that i was filming in with like the ones y'all saw precious will always bark at nothing especially like in the laundry room she would just bark 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 and it would be nothing there and i was like she's sensing ghost or something in the house dogs always know not even dogs animals always know that's how they're always supposed to die because they be trying to warn us um but we just thought oh you just being you know crazy little dog you being real courage a cowardly dog right now but they're not they're like trying to protect us from ghosts but yeah so that's one thing precious with always bark at nothing um my brother's dog cash who y'all um got introduced to in one of the moving vlogs he would always act so weird at um the house that we just moved from he would, he like you see off outside he was running around playing having the time but inside the house he'd be so weird he's just like a different dog even now the house that we're living in now in georgia 
he acts his normal self but at that house that we just moved from he would be so weird he would not eat at this house he eats he wouldn't like really play he would just like want to stay in one spot at this house he walks around he plays he jumps on us everything like he's such an active such a sweet dog and at that other house he was not like he just wanted nothing to do with it he wanted nothing to do with it that's because he's since ghosts and it's not just that one time it's like every time he's went to that old house he was being so weird except for when he was outside he felt more comfortable outside and then being in that creepy house um and the houses that we lived in were old so i yeah i bet somebody um some ghosts up in there you know i bet um so yeah that's one thing cash acting weird um another thing at that old house i swear to god and i'm gonna tell my mom's at work right now so she can't tell her side of the story so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell it for her um but we're gonna start with me first i shit you not y'all it was late at night i'm in bed sleeping and i left the i got up to use the bathroom came back left the door cracked so it was kind of hot um and i had the fans and stuff on but it was still kind of hot so i let the door crack oh uh, y'all swear to god i do not think i was dreaming the fucking door oh, i'm sorry i'm crazy the door i saw the door open slowly and i saw this like tall figure tall skinny man i'm guessing it was a man he kind of like had like a hat on with like a long coat i just saw like the figure like the shadow of it and i got stuck i could i knew it wasn't a person it wasn't nobody breaking in i knew it was a ghost i saw them like walk like not even walk floated in cracked the door floated in walked past like my bed walked towards that first window that you always saw behind my videos like stood there walked a little bit like to the right and then just came back and went out and i was fucking freaked i wanted to like i just like we just i just froze and then like once i saw them leave i just like put my head under the cover um that freaked me out and i didn't want to wake up deja i didn't want to wake up my girlfriend because i was like maybe i'm dreaming but i'm not i'm woke like i didn't go back to sleep yet after i went to the bathroom after i came from the bathroom i saw that shit. it was scary like and it creeped me out and come to find out guess who else just so happened to be up and saw it too and didn't tell me that they were up Deja, my girlfriend laying right next to me she saw it too i wish she was here she's at work right now i wish she was here to like freaking testify she literally saw it too we saw the same figure come in at the same time come in and come and go back out the room and it, and then we both just like went to sleep after that i was i didn't want to wake her up she didn't want to wake me up because we both thought we were tripping but there's no way that we were tripping and we both saw that shit at the same time in the same figure like no that was a ghost it was a ghost it was a man y'all not understanding what i'm saying that house was so creepy it was so <sighs> oh okay so let me tell my mom so um oh and i gotta tell my dad too all that happened at this old house so my mom she said she was cooking she was cooking and then um our our old oven was like you can like see the reflection i'm sure all ovens you can see a reflection in it but ours is like kind of sitting up to the side of the stove and like so you can see people's like whole figures in it she said she was she was um cooking and then she looked just happened to glance over by the oven and saw a figure a man tall figure standing like in the reflection of the oven she turned around and nothing was there and she turned back around to the oven and nothing was there it wasn't my dad my dad wasn't home yet and it wasn't any of us because we're not like tall like manly figures we're you know women and we're you know you could tell the difference if it was us of course we would have said something like if we came into the kitchen and saw my mom cooking or whatever 
and that was the first thing that happened to her the second thing she said she was in the neighborhood she was just walking she thought she she heard footsteps and she thought she saw someone like a t that same figure at the corner of her eyes she turned around nothing was there and so then she just turned back around came back in the house that's not a coincidence that we're all seeing the same figure it's not um I'm sorry, that's not a fucking coincidence. It's just not. Like, that was that same ghost. Probably the same ghost that Precious was always barking at. Or had Cash feeling weird. Like, and let's not, and I forgot to mention, our refrigerator at the old house, it would always make this loud rumbling sound. And um, it would just do it out of nowhere. And me and my sister and my mom would always get like so scared because it's like, why is it doing that? Like, and it would just do it out of nowhere. If we were all in the kitchen talking, it would just start to do that. And we'd just be like, what the hell? And one time, like, it did it. It was just me and my mom. And we were talking, and it did it. And my mom said, stop. And then it just stopped. And it was, like, loud rumbling. And, like, I'm not kidding. It was crazy. And that time she said stop, and it immediately stopped after. That was insane. And let me get to my dad. So my dad, he's downstairs by himself watching TV, minding his own business. Nobody is downstairs. He's down down there by himself. Um, who my camera's about to die? He's down there by himself, and um, all of a sudden glass just falls and breaks. No one is down there. So and, and he's like looking around no one but glass just falls and breaks are you kidding it was the ghost it was the ghost like i guess he just got bored and just wanted to break glass my dad was like how did this glass break where did this glass even come from no one was there no one was downstairs but glass just falls and breaks and i think it was a cup too like what but yeah, you guys, those were my ghost experiences. And not just mine, my, my other family members too. My girlfriend, my mom and dad's, um, all our ghost experiences. And this is like true shit. Like I'm not making this stuff up. Like I can't, how would I even like even make this up? Um, I'm, I'm not that creative. I'm not that good of a liar. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, so tell me your ghost experiences. Happy spooky season. Um to all the ghosts out there leave me alone you know i don't want no problems <laughs> and uh yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time bye